What's going on everyone? So we're gonna be doing the input lag of the Samsung Q9FN. So we're going to put our little thing up to uh, this little light here, this little bar. We're gonna wait for it. In game mode, we are getting 25.7 milliseconds, right? And we're just gonna hold it there. And that's pretty much what it is, right? 25.6. Now, that's with all of your motion processing on, your stuff like uh, your soap opera effect and, uh, you know, which is basically your Game Ocean Plus suite. So we'll uh, get out of that. Oops, we're gonna go into External Device Manager. And now let's turn all that stuff off, right? We have Game Mode on. Let's turn Game Motion Plus off. So no processing of any kind in Game Mode, right? Okay. Now we're gonna put this up. Just so you guys see, we're testing. And with all your processing off, we're getting 13.5 milliseconds, 13.4. So as you can see, the processing does add quite a bit of bog down to the Samsung Q9FN. You can only imagine that would be doubly true as we get out of game mode, but 13.5 millisecond input lag, not bad at all. Though I will say I am seeing a substantial amount of bloom. Now, I am not obviously showing that on my end. I've got my ISO set down to 50. The reason I'm doing this is so you can see the text and clearly see the numbers. Um, but there is like, oh my God, guys, the bloom, the black levels, absolutely horrible in game mode. Like, holy shit, it's bad. So, you know, it's kind of like, yeah, you have low input lag, but you're going to pay for it with like the worst blooming I've seen. Like, it's, it's terrible. I'll probably show you guys, but whew, it's something. Let's just say that. All right, we're going to go over into uh, game mode and we're going to toggle that off. And just in the standard picture mode, as you guys know, I have all my, my processing left on. I'll just scroll down here. Uh, and for anybody that wants my settings, I'll just slowly scroll through them so you can pause and snag what I'm using now. Again, I'm just trying to get this TV to look as good as people are saying in the comment section. It's it's not so far for me. I'm just going to throw that out there. It's not anywhere close to as good as people are saying, but I'm doing everything in my power to make it look that way. Um, but so far, I've still been unsuccessful with getting the kind of image I like out of this television. But that said, we're going to go into our motion processing, which is the whole reason why we went into this. You see it's custom and it's blurred out and everything's all, or not blurred out, it's uh, maxed out. And uh, we're going to just use that to see what it looks like. So when we use maximum motion processing, and again, you could go through the various picture modes and things like that. I'm not actually trying to do the most thorough job right now. I'm just trying to give you the vaguest idea of what you're dealing with, right? So with the light sensor on, we're letting it do what it do. And we're sitting at 77.9 milliseconds. So pretty high, but you know, it's not as high as TVs like LG OLED outside of game mode. So that's something to be said there. LG OLEDs are within the 99 to 100 millisecond range. So this is actually not bad at all and definitely very playable. Though if I remember correctly, I think something like the Hisense H9F was at 75 milliseconds out of game mode or something like that. So this is a little bit higher out of game mode um, than that. But I mean, in game mode, it's absolutely incredible. You get 13.5 milliseconds is not bad at all, right? So that's with all of our processing on and standard. Now, let's see what happens when we turn that stuff off. Or, I think we already did that. So, we had it turned off, or is that with it on? I'm pretty sure it's with it on. So, let's turn it off, right? So, we're just going to go motion processing, all that stuff off. Will that help our motion situation? And if so, by how much? Keep in mind, anytime you're turning off motion processing, you are letting in a good amount of judder. So, just be mindful of that. Damn, I keep letting go of the button here. It's really stupid how they designed this thing. You always got to hold the button down. All right, so we're going to let it ramp and do its thing, right? 
And so far, it's at 71, so it's lower. You know, get a couple milliseconds lower, but as you see, it's not as dramatic as one would hope. You know, you're not dropping into the 69s, so it's still what it is. You know what I mean? It's the 71 milliseconds solid, and that's what I would expect across the board for the most part. So, you know, is what it is. Let's see, uh, another common mode. Most people will probably use, uh, what do you say, movie mode would probably be the next mode most people use. And when people use movie mode, some use soap opera effects, some don't. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn all of that stuff off. I mean, it's set on by default, but I'm going to turn it off. And we are going to try our luck. Oops. Snag in here on my sound bar. We're going to try our luck with movie mode. Let's see if with motion processing off, we get lower than 71 milliseconds. So here we are. So far, we're in the 80s. It's pretty darn high. Oh, wow. I just, I guess I had a little glitch there. My HDMI got snagged on something. All right, so there we go. Now we're in our 76. Uh, it's, it's about the same, 71 to 76. It, it teeters back and forth. But as you guys can clearly see, it's about the same. So there's not really a whole lot different with it. And I imagine when you turn on the motion processing, it'd be about the same as well. Uh, to wrap things up, we will show you guys that. But essentially, I mean, that's pretty much it. You get 13.5 milliseconds on the input lag. Now again, I'm only able to test 1080p. Things could obviously change if you have the ability to test out 4K. I do not. And, you know, I'll be very honest about that. At this point in time, I don't have a setup right now at the house to do that. So let's go into that. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and test this out with all of its motion processing on in movie mode. What does it end up looking like? All right, really sticky button, hard to get. All right, barely getting it here, but I got it on there. All right, now with all of that stuff dialed in like so, motion processing on, we're sitting at 79.3 milliseconds, 79.2. So seems to be lower than we got in standard so some modes can actually yield lower input lag outside of game mode and that's very important to know if you plan on gaming outside of game mode so we have that and that's pretty much it i mean you can obviously see that it's still going to be in the high 70s regardless of what you do um, but essentially, if you're out of game mode, that's basically what it's going to end up looking like. Um, up next, we'll probably be doing the comparison between the Q8FN and the uh, Q9FN as well. So a quick, a quick little note there. I know a lot of people are really upset because they're starting to realize that, you know, maybe the Q9FN is not as great as they would have hoped. Or, you know, maybe they haven't compared it to anything else and, you know... They're starting to see what happens when you actually do that. It doesn't win like they thought it would. And I'm sorry to tell you that, but that's just the way it is. Also, colors and black levels, as I see it on my phone right now, greatly over-exaggerated. Again, my ISO was down to 50, so everything is just really dark at that point. So it does not look like this on my end. I could open up my ISO, but, you know, there's no need to do that for the test that I was just running. My point being, you know, we're going to run tests. And we're going to do things unbiasedly. I mean, I've got no reason to give Samsung an unfair shake. You know, I've got the Q8F in. I've got no reason to lie about any of these results. So as we do these tests, just keep an open mind because what you're seeing is reality. I, I don't have any ability to falsify anything at this point. I'm showing you all in real time. So I really hope you guys appreciate it. Um, not a lot of people are willing to pay out of pocket to do what I do. So, I mean, really, take it or leave it kind of thing. You know what I mean? But on a more positive note, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions or requests, leave them in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching the number one brand in honesty. And until the next video, see you guys later.